What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Time Suites Podcast. I'm Connor. I'm Gary. And I'm Wyatt. And this week, we're going to be doing some tier lists. And we're back. All right. So we're going to start off with some video game controller tier lists. So Tier list. <laughs> tier list. So starting off, we have this Nintendo Switch controller. Mm. For me, it's a D or F. I do not like these controllers whatsoever. I mean, you also have big hands. Well, that's though. the thing. I like, don't like it because I have big hands. I, I think it fits into D simply because it's not... I won't put it in F because I like the ingenuity of it. Yeah, like the, I mean, the main issue with them is like, a they're small, and kind of unwieldy. Sometimes, sometimes they had drift. Sometimes they had drift, and they and they took away the D pad. Yep. Yeah, that's like, my biggest thing that I don't like. Assholes, um, which you can add that back through modding, but. All right, and I understand why they took it away, but at the same time, I just don't like yeah, that it drift doesn't for have like, it. Uh, and also, well, I understand why they had to make it the way they made it. Right. Because it's a portable and a home console. It's a... I think the drift is mildly mm-hmm. unexcusable. Yeah. I think I think D is a solid like, place to put it, because it could definitely be better, but like, it's not the bottom of the barrel. I mean, it's not the... It's, like, fun fact, it's not the actual, like, first console to do something like this, like, with it like being a, both a home and a away. Right. It like this like Sega did it a, like in Years the 90s ago. with the Nomad. Sega. And the Nomad is like one of the best things to ever exist, especially for its time. They the just happen to have Green isn't the horrible. great, but you can make that I think better. The screen was fairly decent for what it was. For though. what it was for the time, hell yeah. But. Or PlayStation Vista. True. Vita? What yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, Vita. Whatever she, uh, the girl plays in Last of Us 2. <laughs> the Nomad could have been better. It was battery powered. Yeah. It's not on this list, though. We'll worry about that another day. Yeah. So, moving I think, on. I think D is a good place. Yeah, I think D is a good So, Xbox 360 controller. That has to be... I think pop, it's B. It's I think, B or A. I think it's an A. Because, okay. like, comparing it to the the PlayStation controller at the time, PS4 controllers are super small. Or PS3 controllers? And, like, everything since the before PS2. the PS5 has been the, a way too small of a controller, in my opinion. You call him the Duke, like the the. No, the just original. PS one, two, That's three, not, and four. That is not the Duke. The Duke. The Duke is the next one. I know. I I'm saying like. No, I'm saying PlayStation exclusively. Oh. Like he's saying that the Xbox controller is better because it fits his hands easier. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. that's why I think I yeah, could be I, argued down to put it in yeah, B. I, no. I I think I, it could have been better. I was like, I, I was under the Xbox One the enhances the Xbox mm. three hundred and sixty controller. Yeah. So okay. like the, the yeah. Xbox three hundred and sixty. So I think Xbox One controller is A. Yeah, but I Xbox 360 controller. Well, and see, going back to this controller, I hate the triggers on it. Com- b- but like going to the Xbox One controller, I hated the triggers. I mean, the Xbox c- 360 controller had a lot of edge just because it, it was skinny, like the, con- one of skinny the triggers. first controllers to be like kind of compatible with a lot of computers and stuff, and right. you could use it for Steam, and it was just a very versatile controller that you could use for a lot of different things. I mean, exactly. I, there's, like, whenever I was in robotics in high school, there were teams that used an Xbox 360 controller to control... Their robot? Their robots. I And I'm not... I, I, sh- I shit you not. Look up first robotics. But I, I don't think it's the most versatile controller on this list. It's not, no. the, not anymore, but at, for the time. No, not it. not even, like, with the PS5 and Xbox One controllers. I like, we're comparing PS5 all these controllers that we have on the screen. We don't have five and... Yeah, we don't have PS5 the on here. The newest one. In my opinion, PS5 controllers are, like, S tier. That is, yeah. That's, yeah. like, some peak stuff right yeah, there. Yeah, that's, like, peak technology for now. Or, like, and, a controller. And then, yeah, we don't have any of the Elite controllers on here, so we just started going with what we got. Yeah. Base now, controllers up to the Xbox One and PS1. We have the Xbox F. controller. I agree. No, it makes me mad thinking about it. Like, some executive was just like, oh, yes, kids. Well, They'll love this. One edge it did have is that the buttons were actually analog buttons, so you could they were like pressure sensitive. So if you put like 
like on the like the X A B X Y yeah. control like buttons. You could press down. I just it wasn't never... a digital. You could press down and it would like have pressure sensitivity. So that's. But like, what edge cool does that part. add for the games that you'd play with it? I mean, there was a few games that I can't remember which ones, but there was a few games that used it. I don't know if I believe that. I'm not going to lie. sure there were. Because the pressure sensitivity, I don't think the game companies at that time were like smart enough to be like, ah, oh, yes, let's use a button for this. And versus, they would have like, had been using Xbox-made games. Yeah. It would have had been Xbox-made games. Um, I'm going to keep it in that because the, the, the hand feel. It's all about hand it's feel. It's awful. Yeah. It's about yeah, hand that, feel that, for that me. That part of it is specifically. Awful. And they tried marketing that Xbox directly to children. Right. And... No child can hold that controller. No, and they realize that humongous. way it's after like long. Hell, it's annoying. Hell, the hell. What's funny is that, like, the, in Japan, the only way they could sell the Xbox was modifying the controller, making it smaller. Right. Literally. Yeah, because Japanese kids' hands were not able to fit. <laughs> I don't know what this controller is. That's the Super S-N-E-S. Nintendo. Oh, okay. that that's an A tier controller right there. Yeah, because I, I feel mean, like this system, anything with this system, the. Uh, D pad and the four buttons right in the in the oval shape, well, right? Not only that, it was one of the first ones that have uh, shoulder buttons. Really? Yeah. One of the. Yeah. Well, and see, I since we're like this is like this kind of the same layout. I'm gonna go ahead and put this controller up there as well. Hold on, I put that one at B. B because Why? of how because it's harder it to hold. It hurts. It's sometimes. kind of annoying to hold because of the square edges. Yeah. You think? Like that's why I would put like the SNES at A because it improves upon what on you see that, in yeah. the original yeah. NES. Okay, I would just I just skip forward to that one because it's kind of the same layout, you know. And then this is the PS4 controller right here. That is. I'm gonna put this honestly. I think it's a solid B, honestly, for me, like B or, B or C. B or C for me because why is C? It's it's the same thing. I, have you not realized that PS4 hasn't. Or PlayStation hasn't changed the way their controller looks well, like, or is and since until the PS5. Well, no. Mm, no, between the, PS4 the P- and P- PS3, I think there's a, the, a the, decent the, amount of differences. A, it, the PS4 is so much better than PS3 controller. I think it's well, slightly The only larger, thing they added is the thing. Is it's the, more no, they, they, they curved They curved the uh, the, the it, uh, it is more comfortable around. to hold. It's more... It's not as angular, and the uh, arms are longer. So it fits better in the hand, that and uh, you don't have to connect it to your uh, PlayStation to charge it. Mm. And also has a little touchpad thing on the front, on the top of it. Um, I think it's I think it easily belongs in B at least. Is that P? This might be PS Five. That's a PS, no. That's, that's a PS Four. But then what is this? That's, that's a PS Three. Three. Then what's this? There's four, There's one, two, so three. There's two PS One controllers. So Gray's gray PS One. Yeah, there's I know this P- one. There's two PS One controllers. One of them is the very first one. That's yeah, the one that's further one. over. Right. That one over there. That's the first DualShock. That's okay. yeah. That still PS One period. Okay. But they the added black the one is PS Two. Okay. Okay. I, okay. 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 Yeah. It's okay. So PS Four we're annoying. putting in B. Yeah. All right. Then there's this this thing. So that's the Sega Saturn, I think. I'm... That's not the Saturn. No, I think this that is Wait, the Saturn. is it Saturn? That is the Saturn. No, yeah, Genesis. I'm sorry. I'm getting console the names Genesis. confused. I don't know. I think early controllers like like this that were trying to like emulate... That one's got the four buttons, so I right. kind of like that one. It, since it's just like... it's It's got the curve shape, which benefits what was wrong with the NES. Mm-hmm. But it's still not comfortable. No. Well, this is like N64 era. This, so like This was still before. Well, this was slightly before N64. This is more contemporary with the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Because like Sega was actually the one who di- came out with a 16-bit before Nintendo. Right. At least in America, I believe. In America in general. Yeah. So they that's why Sonic had a big boom because Nintendo right. was lagging a little bit behind. They were still making their money off of just regular. Yeah, but this is just the controller, though. Not the games, not anything else. It's right. Just I, the I don't think it. I think it's easily seared. Yeah. I wouldn't. I don't want to call it the, D. The Saturn wasn't really all that popular of a console anyway. So I'm going to say C tier because I've never really touched the Saturn. Because it it does better than the Genesis. It's mostly controller. the. It's a benefit of the doubt. And it's more comfortable, but it's still not quite all the way there. So where are we putting this? Probably easily belongs in C or D. It doesn't bother me one way or the other. It's, it's a it's a the, croissant the D-pad, controller. The, yeah, remember, it's too close one, to the itself. The one time I played a Genesis, I remember the uh, D pad kind of being eh. So D. 
All right, so this one, I'm, I'm uh, honestly, I'm too. D or F, I hate it. I'm gonna put like A or S, bro. I hate that controller. You hate the game. You don't like the Wii U? No, I think it's hideous. It's hard to hold. It's just annoying. hard to hold. I don't like it. My hands don't know where to go. It's, it's, it's bigger than the, than holding it's holder a switch. Than, yeah, it is way, not. Yeah, it is. Switch switches I, are too thin. My Wii, hand just goes on it. The Wii U walks so the switch could run. Yes. I don't know. I if don't the, like if it. Wii U, oh, ouch! If Wii U did what Switch did. Then I would put the Switch controllers higher because you see what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but like these are this is a girthier controller. Not only that, you could and it did what nothing else did at the time. Revolutionary. Without the Wii U, we wouldn't have the Switch. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he, but I, I don't that think, controller I mean, sucks because he didn't have one. Because it's not much different than a Wii, other than it has a fun controller, and fun is subjective. You could play, you could play Call of Duty. This is what without screen peeking, man. That's part of the game is screen peeking, Connor. I'm gonna, I'm not putting in anything below B. You don't like screen peeking because you've never benefited from it, like a true Call of Duty fan. <laughs> if you haven't played Call of Duty on split screen unless you've screen looked at each other. Okay, so I'm not putting in anything below B, because I feel like if you I'll, had a Wii U, I'll compromise for B. If you, if want, you had a Wii U, I want the Switch controllers up one more though. No, please, no. they're so bad. I will pay you off. You're the one who said it was they're only know, comfortable if you have attachments the Wii for them. U is B. They're only they're only comfortable if you have attachments for them. I'll put them up one me. because Which the one? amount of attachments there are for them. How about that? I'm willing to take that. Okay, so PS1 Dual Shock. There we go. My phone's uh, charging. I'm gonna say Dual Shock uh, B for like what it did because yeah. before we didn't have joysticks, and I'm gonna put PS1 well, we, non Dual Shock. Right was below. PlayStation before? No, it it made joysticks better, basically. Right. Yeah. It because well, like, look at all the these N64, remotes that came before it. Yeah, the N sixty four had one joystick, but like the dual joysticks for like looking and moving. Right. That was a big thing. Yeah. yeah. I agree, and I'm gonna put the PlayStation one that came out with it right underneath it, because it also did something like that was the first one that honestly was probably comfortable to hold. Yeah, that's basically the same as, like, a Saturn controller to a certain degree. Yeah. Not all the way. Only to a certain degree. Right. Okay, so we got the Wii. S and then, like, no, that's Switch. It's got a Switch this, logo oh, on so it. So Switch that Pro? That one's pretty fucking good. Yeah, the Switch oh. Pro controller, I do like that one. I apologize for my language. <laughs> I think that one's either... Is it an A? I mean... It's basically a reskin Xbox yeah, One it's controller. Yeah, it's basically an Xbox controller. So wherever we put this, it's we like put It's like an Xbox, Xbox one. one controller, but not as... Hefty? Or... It's not as thick. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's not as heavy, so that's So wherever nice. we put this, I say we put Xbox One controller a tier above it. I would agree with that. I think that one's easily a B. Yeah, I would agree. Could so... Xbox One controller? That's an A, a tier? I think that's A. a. Yeah. For what it's done, like, everyone uses an Xbox One controller. Right. If they don't use a snuff, a snuff controller... Scuff? Scuff, that's what I meant, sorry. Sn snuff? I don't know. <laughs> Sniff? Um, whatever that brand is that a lot of, like, pro professional Scuff. controller... Get, yeah, that. Yeah. With the paddles on the back, yeah. Um, if they're not using that, they're using either a normal Xbox uh, controller or an Xbox Elite controller. Like Xbox Elite's probably the one of the best controllers on the market, but yeah. it's also really expensive. PlayStation Two controller. Um, I'm gonna say, honestly, A. A. You think? I think so, purely because that controller to me is where the PS controllers really took off. Even though we have the PS4 controller at B, it's because it only adds one thing in the end. Yeah, but like I would say PlayStation 3s is better than 2 because it's the no. same thing, just wireless. Uh, PlayStation 3. That's fair. So the, it's the my, exact the, same remote, just issue, wireless. The issue I have with the 3 is that they made the, the, like, the little arms smaller. Oh, that's true. And it mm. made PS3 it, is smaller and It made linear. it awful. PS3 controller sucks. Yeah. PS2 controller is easily A. We're I think so. PS2 and A. Yeah. Because, like, holding a PS3 controller... I still think PS4 should be A if PS2 is A. Like, holding a PS5 controller is what gives me flashbacks to a PS2 controller. So, what are we putting PS3 at? PS3, C or D. C or D. Because it took away. It, like, added wireless, but, like, at what cost? GameCube controller? I'm gonna put an A. For the pure fact, because I love the layout and I love everything about this controller, except how no, small it is. We have no S tier. I know. Not yet. Not yet. We're getting to S tier. 
I think the Wii controller is going to go there. I'm really? Thinking, I'm I thinking, love that controller. It I'm works thinking, better than the Wii U controller. I'm thinking this boy's going in there. No. Yeah. I refuse. In A? In no. S. <laughs> Easily B. It is a B tier. Oh, the the M. It's still oh. used today for things. So is the GameCube controller. Mm. The the GameCube controller goes in S. That going goes in A. Because of what it was trying to do. And what it failed to do, though. Well, yeah, but... Its but, competitors did the same thing first and better. Okay, so uh, we can agree that we control it in the nunchuck go and ass, right? Yeah. I think so. Nothing else did, d- does what it... Well, there was those one PlayStation controllers. Yeah, but they were... They were a garbage copy compared. of those ones. They were garbage compared to the normal Wii remote. Hmm. And I think they're also more responsive than the Switch And the, the, the Wii Sports that we did with, had with these... Right, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm considering responsiveness versus the actual game itself. Right. Because, like, even if you had a crappy game like Call of Duty, <laughs> mm-hmm. you could play it with, like, the nunchuck and everything. Right. And, like, it was kind of well, crap, it, it but was it like, worked. Kind of like playing Duck Hunt, but HD Duck Hunt. Right. With people. <laughs> like, reloading was awful if you tried like, doing it, but Remember it whenever we played, Call of, like, Call of Duty and uh, with the Wii? Oh, my God. And there was so many different controller layouts for Call of Duty, which is funny. With, on the you Wii, had the motion. You had the... The regular layout, and you, then the inverted. Well, like, what was funny is that, like, I feel like the Wii U versions have, like, the most controller support of, like, Black Ops 2. Like, it had the most, like, different controller <laughs> support. Mm-hmm. Like, it had the Wii mode and nunchuck at the gamepad. It had the, like, the little, like, Nintendo Zapper. It had, like, the Wii Zapper, which was a Wiimote, but still... It I was listed say that, it. That, that's just a Wiimo. It's it, but it listed it basically. It's because it's, it had, a, like, it's the, a layout. It system. had the old pro like Wii Pro controllers. Had the Wii U Pro controllers. It, like mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. it had so many different options. Even though it was for dads who got them their kids Nintendo consoles. Yep. And teenagers. So we're. I think we're gonna fight over this one. Yeah. I I I think it's it's mid. I would play Call of Duty with this controller. No. I would. I would. I, I would. I would full Go- spurg out. I would we, throw you it. You have issues with Goldeneye. What the? F- <laughs> I think I would beat y'all with this controller in Call of Duty. Remember what I beat you at Goldeneye with that controller? No. Yes, I beat both of you at Goldeneye. Do you remember this yes, in Connor's basement? I and I was playing as Donkey Kong of all characters. Oh yeah, yeah. Ninte- so I have. I a- said Call of Duty. Like I know. modern Call of Duty. I know. I don't think you could beat regular Call of Duty with that. I I would give you guys PS5 controllers. I think I could beat you with Call of Duty. I don't think controller. you could. Not with that controller, at least. Yeah. I think I could. Dude, you don't even have two joysticks. You, you don't have need a two D-pad joysticks. And one. You'd have to map it. You don't even need joysticks. All right, so we're buying a wireless N64 controller. Yeah, we're going to figure out then, how to do that. And then I'm downloading Call of Duty. Next, and then, next yeah. stream, we'll figure it out. That'll be a great, because... No training, though. I'll either, like... What? No training. You can't just throw me in. I have to practice. No, you I'm said it. Hold you the control. You're going to walk the walk. Come on. Come on. Listen. I think I could do it, to be honest. But I could only, like... I can't decide whether I want move or look to be on the joystick. How many that, triggers that, does that controller have? Two, four. It has well, four buttons. Two, it ha- it has, no, it has uh, one, two, it has and then one, one trigger, the and then two bumpers. Okay. So I could use one for aim. I will like have to like map you have grenades to, have three to something hands, else, dude. No. You're gonna have to head it. I'm gonna lose at the start, but I'm gonna legs. figure it out, and then I'm gonna be killing killing people. Okay. I'm gonna have to like hold it like this though, and like joystick run, like, and then shoot. I'll have to figure out how to. I mean, I'm not worried about you. I'll have to figure out how to Call set of Duty. it up for you. <laughs> I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about you specifically. I'm worried about why a little bit because about beating you with that. Yeah, but like, I'll have to. I'm not I'm gonna, gonna, gonna snipe gonna though. I'm not out. gonna <laughs> snipe against you guys. I'm gonna normal. I'm gonna like use like an SMG. You know how sensitive those Fair analogs. Enough. Because are? if you're throwing me in there with a sniper in this, oh yeah, you're gonna die. Yeah, but like, because I've never used this. I don't know. So that means shotguns are also off the list. Yeah, because that's easy. I could, dude. If I use a shotgun, yeah. Because like, uh, there's a reason why you shotgun. <laughs> there's a yeah. There's it's a reason. It's funny how easy it is. All right. So, I'm, so we're gonna have to find a wireless. Uh, I'll put it in B. We're gonna have to find a wireless N64 controller that supports computers. I think we can do it. All right. I and mean, I have one, but it's like a uh, setup is like a, di- a little differently than that the one's easily one. C or D. 
Dreamcast? I like it. It was supposed to do some revolutionary things. Well... The concept of technology just wasn't there with the idea. And also, it was, was just like... I think trying it's Trying to fun. compete against the PlayStation 2. Right. No. <laughs> Still one era. It came out before the PS2 did. I'm pretty sure. No. I'm pretty sure it did. It was sure in 01. I don't know about that, dude. It was... Come on. What year did the PS2 come out? Like... Talking, it, I mean, talking like the game, episode. the GameCube was the competing against the Dreamcast. Dreamcast release date. I don't have two mouse on my screen. I just realized. I don't know what that controller is di- for. That's just a, a wired Xbox game. One. Is it just? It's, it has a disc drive in it. What is this? Nineteen ninety eight. Nineteen ninety eight. Okay, so the game. Well, PS two released March fourth, two thousand. Where are we putting this? I don't even know what this is. It's just an Xbox One controller with a cord. That's what it looks like. That is the s- smaller version of the Xbox. Screw that one. The smaller one? No. It takes all the things that are good about the Xbox One controller and then just pees on them. For the concept of what it is, it deserves F. No, no like, like the original Xbox? That's the Xbox. That's the original Xbox controller, like whenever they made it smaller. Wait, is that what it is then? Yeah, that's oh, what okay. it is. Oh, then that okay, one's okay. okay. Then yeah. back, That's an easily see. Yeah. Okay. You see, like, I thought you were bi- saying it was the, the smaller you version see of the, the big Xbox. ass circle in the middle yeah, right okay. there. No, I actually can't. It looks like the plug-in version of the Xbox One controller. No, it's not. It's the. Uh... Okay, then yeah, that easily can belong in C. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool yeah. with that. If it was like the smaller because version of the they, Xbox One controller, that one makes imbr- me mad. Yeah, they imbr- People are gonna be mad about our list here. Good. I know, especially since a PS4 controller. To be is honest, a B. I feel like Xbox One controller could be moved up to S. Like I don't know about that. I think it's A. At least move. But how revolutionary is it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel uncomfortable with how many are in B for some reason. At least move PS4 to A because it improved what it did the improve PS, the, the PS3. PS, it improved drastically from what the PS3 was. Talk into your mic. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I I agree with that. I'm I'm I would at least have it at an A. That's PS4. Okay. Yeah. I feel like the Xbox One controller is better than the PS4. It though. is, but for the improvements for what it did against the PS3, it made it usable. Do you see it what I'm may, saying? Yeah. <laughs> Instead it, of it, like, stabbing this part of your hand, it was just like, oh, I can hold this now. And, like, it made the tri- it made the triggers comfortable. It made it put made the uh, sticks concave instead of convex, which was a dumb decision. So, like, why did you it's, do that? You they're make- stupid, Connor. Why? Even the N64 had texture on it, so you it would at least stay on your fingers. Like, yeah. God. All right. Moving on to our next tier list. I don't know what it is yet. Game. All right, next up, or is that the only Lego game? Lego game tier list? I've played a Bionicle game and it was awful. I never played any of those Bionicle games, but I'm pretty sure there was more games. than one. Honestly, these first three can just go here. Okay. Since I'm not positive which Bionicle game that is, and I'm gonna have to say never played. Also, put Lego Friends there. Yeah, Lego Where's Friends, Lego, Lego Friends? City, Shima Lego games. Friends between. It's kind of at the middle, at the bottom. You're you're like right over top. All right here. Yeah, I never played that. I never played these games either. Yeah, Chima. Didn't know there was a Chima online. I watched the show a little bit. The Me too, though. Lego City Undercover is All right, okay. let's start off with... Honestly... There's two Lego City games, though. I'm going to start off strong here. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1... I think it's A, but not S. I think it's the best Lego game with an original story, though. With an original story? Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. And it's like, because it, all, it the, all the... Think Batman about it. All too. the other S tiers, like Lego Star Wars... Lego, like Lego Star Wars, Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Lord of the Rings, like they're all based on movies. Lego Harry oh, Potter. And in that vein, Le- Lego Avengers, it's kind of a, it's a B. Lego Avengers is based on something. Well, yeah, it's, it's based a- off of something, but also it uses the same map as Lego Marvel. Is Lego and has yeah. less yeah. characters. Right, exactly. So, so that's why I, that's my that's argument for, for that, why Lego Marvel fair. superheroes it's should too- be an S because it's, it's a, an original story. And then. Lego Avengers is B because it, I mean it it improved some of the gameplay elements, but it didn't have as many characters and it reused the map so for B? for the most part. Yeah, it's almost like peeing on the corpse of I the first like one. I mean, like B or C. C. Yeah, C. Because it's it's not new, and if anything, it detracts. Lego Batman three. C. C that low? I was that one. It's not as good as two. It's mm. but it, all the characters that you can get, all the exploration you could do. 
in it. To me, it's not that much exploration for what actually you get to do. You get very small mini things, and it's basically like... Even with the DLC? Even with the DLC. The DLC didn't add much, in my opinion, to make it better. Yeah, but I... Okay, so I might be a little partial to this one because of how fond I am of the lanterns, and the lanterns are like a big part of the story. Oh, yeah, there's so many lanterns in that one. That was about the best part of the game was going through different lantern worlds and like the campaign. Yeah, that's why I'm. Uh, that's why I would say it's like a, at I'm least. I'm willing to a have B. it a B. Okay. I I would agree with that. Lego Batman one. Ooh. A or B. A or B. A or B. Because in B, I I would say B because I would say A. There's things that could have been better. A because you get to play. Where's Lego Batman two? Yeah. yeah. Let's just go to Lego Batman two. What about Lego Batman two? It was the first open world one, so S. I Wait. remember I played that, I played that thing religiously. Was that the first open world? It was the first open world and the first one of voice acting. What year did Lord of the Rings come out? Um, uh, a year after. Or like the same year, but because like we've had later. this co- we've had this conversation before, and I feel like you're right, but I'm gonna double check it. Go ahead and yeah. keep talking. We'll see. Lego Batman Two, I think is the one I play. I've played the least. I like the really? game more. Like I haven't played that one as because Lego Batman one was the for, like the only Lego game I had on Wii, my at my dad's house. Yeah, well, like my my rationale is the fact that like it was kind of like G like I couldn't play GTA growing up. I couldn't either. So I liked playing that because it was kind of like GTA, but for kids. It was GTA yeah. for kids and Batman and Batman. You couldn't glide though, which was that's which a crime shit. against humanity. Well, like, and Arkham wasn't as right. Uh, Arkham, I think it came out the same year as Arkham City, or like, yeah, two thousand twelve, two thousand. And, an, yeah. and another argument for Batman Three is like the suit systems that you could okay, have. Yeah, because I got Lord of the Rings for my birthday because it came out in November. Yeah, it was a year later in two thousand thirteen in November. So yeah, I'm willing to have Lego Batman Two be an A, at least. An A? Yeah, yeah, at least. Let's put it, because I feel like it's on the same level as Marvel's superhero, Lego Marvel Superhero 1. That's fair. So I, let's put it there. All right. That one's awful. Le- I haven't even played this one. I, it's I, okay. I played like 10 minutes of it, and like I just didn't like it. I mean, the open really? world's decent. I, it's Don't easy. you create your own villain? Yeah. Yeah, and that that's kind of where it that's annoys whack. me because it's just like, we want you to have your own adventure. It's like, that's no. not what I want in the Lego <laughs> game. <laughs> so you're, we're going to put this at D or F? I'm easily D because okay. there's things about it that are okay and enjoyable. I like the bat suit and it's pretty good. Like, it's not a failing grade, but it's like, okay, guys. Yeah. I know you. Where's your effort? Um, okay. Lego Dimensions. I never played Lego Dimensions. It's, I, a, it's a C at it, least. I, mean, I put because I it's was a like fun a Skylanders, yeah. like a Skylanders person. Yeah, it, like, but it had so I, much going on in it. I played, I played it at my cousin's house a few times, and it, and it w- was pretty. I mean, like it's got Mr. Cousins. T in it. it. Has it has Sonic in it? It has a uh, shell. I feel like we're about to have a it. lot of C tiers. And one. then it has well, there's going to be a lot of C. Bart Simpson in it. It's it's, it's got solid. almost everything, and there was plans for more. There was it going to be Doc Shrek Brown. extensions. It's Doc God's Brown, sake. Marty, the DeLorean, like Mr. T. Mr. The T. The only <laughs> downside is I that have you a had Lego the, Mr. T figure somewhere. Like, I don't know where he is in my house, but he's there. The only downside is that you had to pay money to get, the get more game. Yeah, mm. but you're also paying for Legos. Yeah. Okay. Which yeah. was how they really kind of leveraged it because it's like, look, you get a Lego figure of Beetlejuice, and then you could play as Beetlejuice in the game. Yeah, you get a whole entire world. Missions, you're basically paying for DLC and a yeah. physical real world item, almost like NFTs, really, <laughs> but useful. <laughs> like that's how, like in my idea of marketing, this is how people talk about NFTs. It's like, look, it's great for this, this, and this. You're paying for all this, and it's like, no, you're not. But with this, you actually are. Okay. Uh, Lego Harry Potter one through four. Impro- it improved what Lego one Harry through Potter four did. made me mad. <laughs> Wait, one no, through one four. Th- that's not one through four. That's uh, the last few. One through four is no, next to this, Oh, Pirates right. This is like, this is, let's do one through four first. One through four, I, I would say, <coughs> is a C tier. There was one Walmart growing up that always had Lego Harry Potter one through four, and that's the only time I played it. I never owned Lego Harry Potter. I it got, was good. I got to one of the last Chamber of Secrets levels, and to this day, I tried restarting it, and I, it, like, it hard? glitches out. Oh, okay. That specific oh, level. Wait, oh, which version? The Wii. I, that. 
like we got it for my mom and I'm the one that ended up playing it. And yeah. like we get to that point in the game and it's like I've never gotten past that it, point. It, does it go the do the burn? No. It just do, it doesn't give me a prompt to do anything. All I can do is walk around the bathroom. Yeah, mm. I think there was a bug with that with a version of that and like they had the patch it through like one of the See, I'm going to put updates. it so I'm going to put it in D for the sole fact that I think Lego Harry Potter is Five, uh, five through the rest of the years, whatever is Benefited better from well, it, like it, it, it learned from the mistakes of the yeah, last one. It's better, but it's not. I wouldn't put it at B. I mean, it's almost like, like the actual Harry Potter sets because the first ones right. were kind of eh, and then you get all these modern ones, and they're like well, these like, are great. It's kind of like how I wouldn't um, put it at B though. So I'm gonna put one at D and one. It's kind of like how the Lego C. Star Wars games worked. They were direct. There, it's a one of Lego Lego's only direct sequels based off of an mm-hmm. IP. So like. It learned like the mechanics and refined it. So, right. and I know like new versions of uh, Lego Harry Potter don't have that issue because I remember having that issue growing up, and I think I, uh, I don't know, it, there was like some weird update thing and it fixed it. Okay, so moving on, the game would make me mad. To Lego Indiana Jones one, a, you think? That game was my childhood. I feel like Lego Indiana Jones 2, though, did more for Lego Telltale games. It didn't add anything. Mm, it it only it, added the next movie. Mm, and it also kind of messed with the mechanics of the game. It didn't do enough so to make it any better. So where are we putting Lego Indiana I played Lego Indiana C or D Jones. is where I'd put the second one. Really? Like, I, the first one, I am religiously into the first one. The, I played a lot of the first one. I think that was my first Lego sec- game. The second one made me mad, just, like, how much it, like, cha- tried to change things. Okay. Like... And so basically, they added this: you build your own uh, level, right? Thing, but it also made the whole game look like the build your own level thing. Why there's so many Lego Ninjago games? And it just didn't work for me. <laughs> it's it's not it's not good. It's not good at all. <laughs> I don't like it. Did we all? Did you all ever play Jurassic World? I did. Yes, I enjoyed it. Is it good? I like it. I enjoyed it very oh, much. Good. Um, I, I, it's got Jimmy Kimmel as a playable character, so that's really? something. Oh, funny. It's also got Mr. DNA as a playable character, which that gives it an extra that's point like, in my He's opinion. the most expensive. Uh, yeah, you have to try to get him wait, like, you have really to, hard. Wait, he's the most expensive Lego character, character yeah. ever? No, I don't know about of, ever, but no, in, in that game. game. Oh. I would put it, I, I don't know about B, though. I think it's worth a B. I don't know if it's on the same level as uh, Beyond Gotham, though. It, oh, I think it definitely is. You like think? Is it above Lego Harry Potter five through seven? Yes, I would say so. Just because of dude, you can play as dinosaurs. Yeah, you can, Fair. and customize your own dinosaurs. I guess I just, it's just since I've never played it, I I it's, don't have the same. It is fun. I I also never played any of the Lego Lord of the Rings games. Only, I think there's only one Lego. No, there's there's, there's, a Lego there's a second one. There's supposed to be a Hobbit. This is missing games. There's Hobbit in Lego there's Hobbit. Lord of the Rings. So it's only missing one game that I can think of. What's besides a few other one, games that were one? before console. There was a DS game called Lego Kingdoms or Lego Battles or something like that. Basically, like Lego Battles Ninjago. Oh, but it so had... it's like Advance Wars? Maybe. Okay. All right. So, Lord of the Rings. Honestly, B or A for me. Yeah, I played that game more than any other Lego game. You think? I, really? I No, I genuinely know I did. I was attached to that game. Like, you know how I said I was religiously into this mm-hmm. <laughs> the Indiana Jones one? Yeah. The Lord of the Rings one, I just kept going for like hours. That's how I am with I the just played Super Marvel Lego Lord Super of the Heroes. Rings. One. Uh, S- Marvel Super Heroes two though. Super Marvel, uh, Su- Lego Super Mario Super Heroes two. Honestly, Super Mario. What did I say? Super Mario. Yeah, you did. I think somewhere Super in there. Marvel Super Heroes. It's okay. I'm gonna put it at D to be honest, because like the, it, King the Conqueror is the the villain in it. The game's kind of sad. And the map sucks. The it's, map like it's split up and it's gross. Like. Like there's also there's fun characters in it, but so it detracts hyped. from the first game. I was so hyped for this game, and then it was like, yeah, Fantastic Four is not in this anymore. The the, the X Men, gone. Yeah, it's kind of sad. It's it it peed on the grave of the first one. I agree. So that's why I'm I'm honestly I might put it in F if you keep talking down on it like that, but I'm not gonna. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean is either like a C or a D. I, and I, I played that game a lot. It's kind of like, but because meh. I wanted the pirate stuff to be better, <laughs> right? And it just wasn't. Well, it is a Lego game. I know, but I still expect something more to it, and I don't know what I was expecting, Ooh. but it just wasn't very. Lego Star Wars Two is that's S. You can't change my S? mind. That's S. Really? Oh yeah. We'll see. 
I don't know because I know you have like a kind of like a man with a complete saga, which I think that's S. No, complete saga is not. Well, because complete saga includes you're just, both. Your reason for it's, not no, liking, yeah, because it's literally the same as the your, first two. That's your reason but for not it liking it. But because it did way more. It did way more than the it first didn't. two. It did. How? One hundred percent. It way more people one level. It. No, way more but people. You also it. had the uh, the gold brick uh, levels with Let me like explain. the breaking down shit. Let me explain. Connor, had... that's in Lego Star Wars two. Let me explain. Can I explain? It added more. Let me explain. It's yes, it's the same, but way more people bought, and way more people played the complete stupid. saga. So we're stupid, me and Connor. Yes. Wow. Money on the table right now. I'll let's go. I have more money than both of you. I know. Combined. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to say with this, but okay. <laughs> Let's go. Money on the table. Right now. Let's do it. <laughs> How much um, money I got in my pocket right now? Oh, if we're going by that, I have zero dollars. <laughs> Four bucks. Um, I so, think Lego Star Wars 2 is S tier. I just don't... I can't... Because it's it's incomplete saga, and I feel like way more people... If we don't put complete saga in S tier, because me and Connor want it there, and I think the world wants it there. I don't think it's worth that. I think it is because it did way more than one and two did. If that's the case, then Lego Batman two, I it's that's basically the same thing, and that's still just detracts. I don't know. I don't like it there. I can't really do anything because I'm outvoted. Right. But I think Lego Star Wars two belongs there because it walked so that way the complete saga could run. Fair. Okay. Can I? Let's do this. Follow me here. Lego Star Wars two. I played Lego Star Wars 1 on my sister's PlayStation 2. That one belongs in A or B. I'm gonna there's, it, there's problems keep with fo- it. Keep following me. Keep following me. S-A-S. That's fair. Because I know... But can you at least appreciate what Complete Saga did for Lego games in whole? Like, because I feel like Lego games weren't really that big until Complete Saga came out. I don't know if I agree with that either. Because it came out before Indiana Jones. It did. It, Wait, did it? Yeah. Yeah. Indiana Jones uh, was like the follow up to Lego yeah, Star really? Wars. Yeah. Yes. I don't remember giving a crap about even Complete Saga existing is, until after the, Indiana Jones. Be, the because re- you had one reason, and two. So the re- that's the They're reason really why old? Indiana Jones was in the Complete Saga. Was because it was a preview for the the next Lego game. I thought they did that cuz they were cheeky. No. They were cause the cheeky bastards. That's that's what they are. It's just cheeky. No, they they put Indiana Jones in there and they had a little trailer for the for Indiana Lego Indiana Jones. I just feel like Complete Saga did so much for so many people, Lego game wise. I honestly feel like it's one of the, like, now that Skywalker Saga came out, like, like that it, it did what Complete Saga did and just more, Amped it up, yeah. more. So just just put Skywalker Saga in S tier real quick. I agree. Do you agree <laughs> with that, Wyatt? I think that one's S tier. Yeah, I feel we have a lot of S tiers. <laughs> Honestly, we might move Batman and Marvel down one to A. Mm. Because I don't feel like these games well, are keep, on par well, with these put, two. Put well, Batman down to A and leave Lego Marvel. No, I think Batman's better than Marvel Was game-wise. It? I think it is game-wise. Not in terms of content that's just in the game, but I feel the, con- like, like the actual campaign is better. And I think well, the yeah, gameplay the cam- is better. The campaign is a little bit better. I think the gameplay in Marvel is a little more they, annoying. They improved the flying in... Uh, Marvel. I don't think they improved it enough. <laughs> they didn't improve it enough, but they improved it. Because, I mean, I don't marginally. Know. I so, think Lego Batman like 2 said, as a game is stronger than Lego like Marvel. Like I said, Lego Batman 2, I played, it was my least played Lego Batman game. So, like, I don't know, really know where to stand on this, but I have well over How much 200 hours have? on Lego Marvel. That's almost what I have in Lego Batman 2. Like I, because well, I have 50 hours on my comp- my PC, and that's after revisiting it, and then I haven't touched it since then because I accidentally deleted my save, and I got really mad and almost punched a hole through my monitor because uh, it was I it was literally a snap like it moments was li- after that. <laughs> it was literally right after I unlocked every character except for Stanley. I was so mad. Oh, even okay. dead. I even had Deadpool. Oh, see, that's why I think Batman Three is almost pretty good because it has the Batman 66 level. Yeah, I, Batman, Lego Batman 3, I honestly think, is in a, the, a good spot. Because think about it. You remember the suit? Like, the suit thing? Like, you could, like, change Batman's suit on the fly, and same with Cyborg and Joker and all that. Hold them. on, that's what I'm thinking about. Give me a second. Switch the 2 and 3. Switch 2 and 3? Switch 2 and 3. I think Lego no, Batman... Three, 3 is in B, 2 is in A. That's three the first is in one. B. Okay. That's No, oh, that's still the very first one. Okay. Okay, so put 2 in B. Yeah. And put 3 in A. Yeah. I would agree with that because I love Lego Batman. Because I'm thinking about the content, the campaign. It was more ambitious than two. 
only because they finally were able to Lego be. Batman 3 was basically a like, Lego Justice League movie. And it, it did Justice League better than the Justice League movie. It did. But that's not hard to do. No, it's not. I could do it in an afternoon. Are you ready? So Lego Star Wars 3. in an afternoon. B or C. That high? You could, have a, you played it? It improves, like, saber combat. No. And yeah, stuff it does a lot. And you can do, like, I just said, I can't like, get over the like looks. RTS. I can't get over the looks, though. Of it. I think it's a B worthy game. Better than the sets. B? You think yeah. it's B? Oh, because I'm no. It's it. really fun. It's it's okay. actually I I agree with Wyatt on this. this okay, it's we'll a really good it, game. We'll put it in B. Okay, because I I can't really. Lego Incredibles. I've never, never played, played this game. It's fun in concept. It's easy. It doesn't it's really. It's really do a anything. Lego Pixar game. Yeah, because you have like other characters. Like you can play as Lightning McQueen in it. Can you play as like Russell and Carl? I'm pretty sure you Fred, can. Fred, Fredrickson. I think the emotions are in there too. Really? Yeah. Like from Inside Out. Yeah. Let's put it at C. That's fair. Because uh, I've never played it. Lego Worlds, honestly, it's sad. It's Minecraft, basically. It's but F not, tier. Yeah. Because I mean, look what it did. Look at all the hype. It, it's honestly... The what, hype was cooler than the, the actual game. The hype was game. awesome. Yeah, the hype was like, great. You're basically... You're going to be able to build whatever you want. Anywhere. And I'm like, oh, that's right. It's going to be like a... But like I a, already have Legos. Right. It, in it, real life. It wanted it to be and Minecraft. And I have Minecraft. But Lego. And then I have Roblox. We, I, all things that already do that the same thing as but it. like honestly it's probably it's the biggest lego game on the list yeah it's bigger than skywalker skaga yeah skaga skaga whatever but it's <laughs> it's not as good no it sucks because they were like we need a competitor to minecraft because everyone keeps calling minecraft legos but digital so we need digital legos yeah but they did it awful like wasn't that's the what i'm building, saying like the building was hard it was to weird do. it was annoying funny enough they're both don't they both come from scandinavia technically Okay. Different parts of different parts of different the, parts. Yeah. So no, I mean, like one's more south than the other. Yeah. These. Let me do the last because I I, I think the Hobbit should be on the same as Lord of the Rings. I don't think it's as good as Lord of the Rings. So one below. It's basically the same game, but. All right, let's put it there. These five, I have no opinion on because I've never played any of them. Force Awakens kind of sucks as a game. Yeah. What do you want? D. What is it? Is it literally just Force it's Awakens? It's just the Force Awakens with some DLCs of other stuff. Well, like, and also like the first few levels are like Return of the Jedi, but. It's got a I, DLC of what Han Solo was doing before he meets Rey. I mean, okay. That's the coolest part I mean, of the game, in I, my opinion. I kind of have a soft spot just because it was the only LEGO Star Wars game for several years. Like, the only new one for several years. When it came out, I remember trying it, and then I just played LEGO Star Wars 2 more. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> just get Complete Saga. Okay, what about LEGO Cities 1? What, Lego when Cities when 1. When a good computer, we're going to give them Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. He doesn't want it. I'm just going to get the Skywalker Saga. <laughs> yeah. And he can get that on his Xbox. Right. Yeah, okay, so... I'm getting it on two. <laughs> Lego City 1. I never played this game. Lego City 1's okay. It actually was kind of fun for the concepts it did, so it's B, C, or D. Anywhere in those is where I'd put it personally. Because it's like, there's detractors and there's pluses... It was a Wii U exclusive game for a while. Yeah. What about Lego Cities 2? I don't even know what that one is. <laughs> I'm I'm never fully played? serious when I say I don't know what it is. It's What about the Lego movie games? I've never first, played these. First one's easily C or, C or D. Second one is F. That bad. It's really bad. I don't even remember what happens in the movie. No one saw Lego Lego movie 2. I did before it came out in theaters. Before? Yeah. It was, like an, it was like a week early. I remember there was a YouTube ad once where like it was a uh, just Lego movie, and I I was like halfway through it and I accidentally skipped it, and I was sad because <laughs> I wanted to see it. So here's our tier list for Lego games. I feel like we did pretty all right. There was a few heated debates in there. Yeah. Um, I stand by them. Yeah, I mean that's it's that's what it's about, you know. I'm sorry for all the Ninjago Ninjago fans out yeah, there. Yeah, I didn't even know there was that many Ninjago games. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't know Ninjago was so... Oh, wait. I didn't notice that there was Lego Ninjago the movie. That's a... Did D-R-F. you ever play that? It's DRF. Where's that one? It's the fourth one. This one? Yeah. Put an F. It's, it's like the in-between of like Lego Movie the game and Lego Movie 2 the game. Honestly, until recently, I didn't know Ninjago had such a following. Oh my, yeah. yeah. No, dude. I, like, cause I watched the show and I was like, this is dope. Gold weapons. Like, yeah, yeah I even fun. had a few sets, but like, I didn't know it had such a following behind it's, it. It's huge. Yeah, they That's even, it's Lego's most successful independently owned. Really? Property besides Lego City. Yeah. Really? Cause Lego City is just city stuff, but Ninjago right. is just like, ninjas. We got ninjas. 
Yeah. And then like everything else. Not like, even Chima? Whenever they yeah, no, Chima went out in like two years. <laughs> the one that makes me the most sad though is Monster Hunters. Yeah. It had the coolest sets. They were cooler than Jago. Yeah. More ambitious. The space too. Cop one. Uh, the Space Cops were cool. I had that one. So let's They've move never on had a successful Knights in Armor. We have uh fourteen minutes to do the next tier list. Uh, we have time for uh, one more. What's tier the list. what's the last two tier Hold lists? On. We'll be right back. Pat, and we're, we're back with video game consoles. This one is gonna get heated, so please stay oh, with us. God. Heated fast. All right, original. Uh, not original. 3DS. Mm, C. C. Okay. C. Okay. I, I'm glad we agree. We're starting off. Okay. We're starting off good. Because it didn't do anything new besides add 3D. 3D. And well, bad also 3D. Gave it an analog stick. The new. 3DS, oh, that's true. The new 3DS was better. Like the 3DS, <laughs> literally like XL. It's the improvement. Like the, the new 3DS XL. Yeah. yeah, those ones are dope. Those ones. My are brother dope. has one of those. It's yeah. Okay. Like, so let's just stay like with the. the d- let's do handhelds first. So we're gonna be jumping around here. So. Oh. Fuck. DSi or is that original that's DS? That's original DS. Where's the DSi? There's that's no, the one I had. No let's just include DSi with this because they're that's basically fair. the same, just with a camera. So. DS original. I think it's either B or C. I was gonna say maybe A. A or B, because who. What kid didn't have this at our elementary school? That's fair. You know? Because, like, since the Game Boy, that was, like, the next biggest boom. Yeah, Not right. quite the same way. I remember, and what the DS did dope, and they took it away with the 3DS, is that only one person needed to have the game for everyone to play it. Oh, that's true. Because, like, I had, there was well, there, one person at Adventure Club some, with Mario Kart. There were some games that, like, you can get more features if you had two people with the same. Right, features. yeah. Like, this Godzilla game I used and, to like, play. Yeah, with Mario, I played that with and with Richie Mario Kart, and, and with Mario Kart, you if you wanted to be able to choose your character and like do other stuff, you had to have two cartridges. Right. Well, and see that that was the thing. Like if you had, but like you just played a shy guy, but yeah. it was the same game. Yeah. Because back then, like car, the car you chose didn't matter, the wheels you chose didn't matter, the character you chose didn't matter. Back then, it was all the same. Everyone with the same speed. So I think that DS, that's DSI and DS, I think are the same thing because yeah. the DSI just added a camera and they took away Game Boy Advance compatibility. Yeah, that was kind of sucky, but well, there was like two versions of the DS before the DSI though too. Yeah, there's the there's DS, the original there one, the, big the one that I have, one, and, and the then DS the DSI, Lite. right? And then the DS Lite, yeah. Um, I st- I'll still have that around with me when I do stuff. The sometimes. DS Lite, yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, gonna put I, it in A just the, for what it my, did for my us in our family. The DS Lite was how fragile it was. Not like, our family. Could, our, oh, could, no. I've chucked that thing. And it's still in the community. The, I broke the hinges on mine accidentally. Uh, I Maybe I'm just God. Maybe I'm just God. Okay, moving on. Atari. Original Game Boy. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We're going handheld. Hand Original hand. Game Boy's S. Sorry. I, I agree. Yeah, that's, I agree. It's S. This thing survived a nuclear bomb. Not nuclear. That was just a regular bomb. Oh, just a regular bomb? Yeah. Yeah. And also... No, I thought one survived uh, one of the Tokyos. I mean, okay. even, though, even though it no. has... I thought one did. When you say Tokyo's, the, I don't want to say like. What do you mean? Like we can cut this part out. What are we talking about? Like the two bombings in. Gary, those were in the forties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I thought one did. Gary, no. <laughs> Game Boy didn't come out Game until Boy the nineties. Game Boy didn't come out until nineteen eighty nine. Those bombings were in nineteen forty five. You're right. I'm kind of <laughs> we'll cut this out. We'll cut this out. It's okay. Gary, I got Gary. really concerned for a second. There was one that exists, like that's still Gary, on display in New York City. Pong didn't and it even work. exist then. There was one computer game that maybe existed, the predecessor to Pong. One, one and zeros just. You all know how my time is. Card. It all blends together. All right. Okay, so, let's just redo this. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what about S? S. Complete S. Yeah, I agree. There was. For, I mean, there was other versions of the Game Boy that came after that like I don't the, think are Game as Boy good. Pocket. Pocket color. Oh uh, well, the color. It's the, it's the same as the first one. The Game Boy, the Game Boy the, Color. This is the Game Boy Color right here. The Game Boy Color. I wait. Um, no, when I say color, I mean the ones that had different colored shells. Yeah, this one. Oh, right like the oh, like the Play It Loud versions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, the actual Game Boy Color. Sorry, distinctions. The the Game distinctions Boy are important here. I love that one because yeah. it literally adds color. To I'm, gonna say, I'm gonna say a B or A. For that, I'm willing to accept A or B, because it's the same as the original Game Boy, other than you have colors now. Right. But it, I don't and think a bit it better was better sound quality. Well, and I remember all the attachments you had for you could get for it. I mean, we don't remember, but like I've well, seen like, it. I feel. I mean, Game Boys and Game Boy Colors and like Game Boy Advance is really good in like investments now because I mean you could they're fairly cheap, and they're and fun, you, and you can add screens to them, and it's fairly simple. You don't have to solder anything. It's like they're good to have. They're good to have. I have 
The original Three Game now. Boy is probably one of the best handheld consoles to yeah. ever exist. I, I have uh, one of those. I have a Game Boy Color and an original Game Boy. The original Game Boy I have is modified, and it's fantastic. The Game, Game Boy, Boy Advance. Oh, that's my first game console. A. I would say A as well, because this was like, I got, I got gifted. That's, this is what I played Pokemon on for the first thing I ever really time. played, too. Yeah. Except I played a Shrek game constantly. <laughs> I played this in Super Mario World? World, yeah. Yeah. I I played Pokemon and Super Mario World in this. Pokemon Ruby specifically. That's why it's my favorite. Yeah, I played Pokemon Pokemon Ruby, Kirby, Amazing Mirror. I All played right. Super Mario handhelds. World. Uh, Should we include a... Switch and Wii U for handhelds? Or? Well, you Switch oh, is right the here. binding point. Here's a... Vita, or is that a PSP? I think this is tell. a... This That's is a, a Vita. Vita. Yeah. yeah. PSP is right down here. I don't really have an opinion on a Vita or a PSP. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna just... Um, Vita... Vita would, wanted to do more than what it was. Vita was the original Switch, but for Sony. Yeah. Vita tried a lot of That's things. not even a joke. Like, that's just what it was. So go ahead and put that wherever you think it should go. I feel like it should go at least... I mean, it just flopped so bad because it had problems with it. I'm gonna put it at D. If you disagree, you could try to change my mind. I mean, you could think about the ambition. Because flop shouldn't denote what it was wanting to do. Yeah, but like the pro- like compatibility with games wasn't there. Like there wasn't a lot of game support. I mean, yeah. you could play Borderlands on it. I think C is a better place for it because yeah. of the ambition involved. Yeah. But see, I think the PSP is better. It is, but it's different. Isn't it different? Well, yeah. I don't. I, I legitimately different. am PSP, being serious. PSP I don't know. Was PSP own... was revolutionary for the time. You, the little discs, you remember? Like, I had you... one. I had one episode of Family Guy on disc for PSP. Yeah, and those, those, one... those are weird. Like, those you can watch movies out. on it. Yeah, like it was one of the first. I'm gonna put it in B. You can connect like and surf the web on. Yeah, like I mean, you could do it with the DS, but you had that buy an attachment for it. Right. I, it... I just knew one guy that played. It was like, an adult Final it was a, Fantasy on it. It was an adult P. It was adult DS. Why? Because it just did more. Basically, it was a PS2 in your hands. Exactly. Yeah, I would agree with that. All right. Okay, Let's do Wii U, then Switch. Wii U. You know Connor is and I. Yeah, Connor I already know I you is. guys, and you know what my opinion it's... is. We started with that in this. <laughs> C? We'll just put it at C because of the disagreement we have. Because Connor and I would put it at A or B. Um, For what I, I was able to do, it... Switch. So what this for the what this like this isn't the controllers this is Switch as a console I'm gonna put it up in here in A, I think yeah. that one's easily A or B because it has done it is everyone I don't know someone without a Switch my mom has a Switch I don't right have a Switch. isn't it the best selling Nintendo console anymore yeah like, didn't it outsell I, everything else I don't have a Switch but yeah oh yeah you don't have a Switch I know one person without a Switch <laughs> that's true <laughs> everyone has a switch. Everyone I mean, actually no. My I mean, aunt, my Ab- aunt does not have. So one. Abby's been like harping me like, do you want me to help like go half season on a switch? I'm like, you should do it because well like I I have other projects and stuff I want to do the, and I'm to save money. <laughs> I think Animal Crossing what the switch has done for Animal Crossing as a game and vice versa. I think Pandemic also helped with Animal Crossing though. Well, not just with Animal Crossing, but with switches in general. Switches in general. Switches were a huge. They thing were like six hundred dollars. Pandemic. Yeah. Like at one point. I mean, as much as it, a PS5 or. More than a PS5 at retail. I mean, I would have. I mean, I five hundred. That's it. Mm-hmm. I should talk to Monel. If well, he I bought mine from Monel for six hundred. That's still that's. I don't you know. See what I, I really I was gonna, I was thinking about getting a Switch Lite at one point, but then that's I was what like, my mom has. It works. Yeah, pretty I was good. like, eh, but I also want to be able to connect it to my TV for like games like that. Right. Like I want to yeah, be able to play Breath of the Smash. Wild's better on TV than I it is. I want to play be able to play my I want to be able to play Smash Brothers not confined to a small screen in my hands. Mm-hmm. That also makes a huge difference. Yeah, like I agree. playing Smash on the little screen, it's hard. So PS5 and Xbox Series X are not on this. That's okay. <laughs> we'll keep going. PS5 is S for me to be I no, me. I think that's agreeable. Like I don't know about what Series about X. The- uh, I've, I've never really, I haven't played. I've only. X. It's the same as an Xbox One. So it's wherever just, we put Xbox One, we're gonna put. That's yeah, just it's, say it's, that's where it's Xbox Series X is. It's just huge and it has Small, better. It looks like better a mini graphics. Bridge. Small improvements. All right, that's true. It does original look like Atari. I'm partial to that console. I love the original Atari. Well, it was the it's first not video as, games. Like, kinda. The brown box was the true, first. But I think it's easily B. B the controllers. The B. No the, point, yeah, the, the B. Yeah. The controllers they. They're better. I like them more than the NES controller, to be honest. You like not, the not stiff in, ass joystick? It's not that stiff. I'm serious when I say that. It's not as bad as people talk about it. It's like you just well, suck I, maybe. Well, I guess you just you suck left maybe. It. Well, I guess uh, I guess 
I guess if you l- have left it in the attic for a long time, it's probably going to get stiff. Because, but... like, I, I, as a, like, I was going against grown adults who had an Atari growing up, and I beat them at their own game. Have you played E.T. yet? No. Oh. E.T. I, I don't have an Atari to plug in my E.T. cartridge. Wait, oh, oh I... my God, where's my cartridge? <laughs> it's somewhere in my house. I think so, I know where it is. One time at uh, Venice Shock. We found an E.T. cartridge. So E.T. used to was like one of the quoted as the worst game to ever well, exist. Well, the reason being is that like it didn't. It was like kind of like an open world ish. Hard to play, and it just sucked. It was a lot for the time, and it like people just didn't get it because like you know, pitfall, the objective. Don't fall in the hole. Golf, hit ball, go here, like. The simple, we just hadn't gotten there yet with games. Yeah. You know, I think it doesn't help that there just wasn't any directions. That's, yeah. That's the problem. And also, yeah, lack of directions. <laughs> that's the that's the biggest problem. That's the origin. That's the reason why I don't like the very first Legend of Zelda. There is a lack of directions when you don't have the game manual. Well, yeah. I don't think that that's good game design when you need the manual to actually play the game. It should be in the game. Itself. I think I like Mario. It's jump. Well, Mario, it... Are you talking about Side Scroller Link? Yeah. Okay. Like, the very first... Well, it's Side Scroller. Well... It was weird. It was a top-down. Right. The second one was Side Scroller. Well, the second one had Side Scroller elements. Well, actually, it was Side Scroller. Anyway, we're getting off track here. We're getting off track here. Dreamcast. Mm, It... C or D. It, it's what sunk. Uh, it's what sunk. Uh, Sega. Sega. Yeah. It was like it was an ambitious console. Yeah. It didn't pay off. Because I mean, everyone else was working on something better, <laughs> right? Well, yeah, and also Sega Game had issues is, with the Saturn. And I don't know like, about S. It's A or S for me. I think it's B. GameCube, B or yeah, A or B. I'll settle for A. I'd say it would, GameCube was like awesome. That's like what well, s- like Smash. To me, when I think of the GameCube, well, Wii has to be higher than GameCube. Yeah, yes. Wii does. We can Wii play is GameCube. What took the GameCube and was just like true. We can trash. play GameCube and right. Wii's basically a souped up GameCube with slightly better graphics. Right. The GameCube is like the symbol of Nintendo being like, "Oh, you guys want discs? Screw you!" It was so late in the game in comparison to like the PlayStation. So let's put it at B, and then we'll put. Okay, the, we'll put it at B for now. Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah, that's a tough one. Sorry. Shh. B. <laughs> It had Sonic. B. B? B. It, it had the original Sonic. One second. Are we sure that that's... No, that's, that's the di- a, that's the disk drive one. Look at the that, top no, of no, it. No, 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 no. No, it's the circle. Are you no, sure? That, I'm pretty sure. Then what's that one over there next to, in between the SNES and the PlayStation 4 on the bottom that's row? That's the Saturn. That's the Saturn? Yeah. Yeah, because you could click yeah, on the, the Saturn that had the... Disc. Yeah, okay, okay. So because, we'll I mean, be. there's a Sega CD, which had a seat, well, like, it was right. attached to that, and also 32X. Basically, Sega milked the, the Genesis for as long as they could. Which was smart. Which was smart, but also... Like, they did it better than Nintendo did with the NES. Yeah. They, mil- they milked their console better. Yeah. Nintendo was like, no, no, no. And also you they- want the original. And also, they uh, had better Mortal Kombat. I also think when it came down to the Game Boy, that's when they finally were like, oh, we need to sell things that make it, that enhance it. Because the Game Boy itself is good. Well, the and game... then you could add things to it. Well, like, the, the reason, so, J- Sega had their own handheld, it was called... Uh, the Nomad. Not, well, it wasn't the Nomad. They had, the Nomad came out a while later. It there was, was also the Shark. The Game, sh- it was the Game Gear. Which... Wasn't that a, sh- what, what, sh- what Shark then? What am I thinking of? Uh, you're thinking of Game Shark. It's kind of like an action replay. Okay, never mind that. So basically, the Genesis, the not Genesis, the uh, Game Gear, was to supposed to compete with Nintendo's Game Boy. It had a color lit up screen. It was tr- kind of trash, and it had and it was bigger and it uh, uh, like the games were like full color, right? These competed with each other at the exact same time, but the issue was the price point. The Game Boy. Whenever it released was fifty nine ninety nine. Granted, nineteen eighty nine, fifty nine ninety nine was a lot more than it is today, especially right now. Yeah, what, but like still, the the think the game year was a lot more. But what if you were a like dad a kid in or a parent. the early nineties, pinching pennies, 
trying to find out what your kid wanted, and they wanted a little handheld game device. Well, they're probably also going to say Nintendo anyway, because and they see, Nintendo was a household name. Well, in, yeah. Sega was becoming a household name. Yeah, they became the household name of the Genesis, but still, people called everything a Nintendo, and they saw Nintendo. And right. And we're like, Nintendo, oh, this one's cheaper. It's like when people Here we called go. just random sodas Coke. And it had more And it had more. That's, uh, a, that's support, a Texas thing. And it had yeah. more support. Can I get a Coke? Yeah, what it had, it's just, pepper. So that's why the Game Boy out, was outselling everything, because it used outdated stuff, and it was cheaper. Mm-hmm. It that's the why, AK-47 that's of game what, consoles that's is what Game Nintendo, Boy. That, for a long time, that's w- what was Nintendo's edge. They didn't have to be the state of the art. I mean, they were a state of the art for a, a while, but they didn't have to be. What what their business model was, like, with a, a lot of their, like, lower tier and then eventually now the consoles, is not to be the head of the curve, is to make a fun, like, family console that everyone would like. Oh, and they're still not doing that best at that anymore. I mean, okay. with the Switch. I'm going to have to cut this no, conversation I don't know off. About the, I don't know about that either. I'm going to have to cut this conversation off. We're going to have to move on. we got to get these through these next couple really quick. 64 is easily A N64, or B. A. I'd say A. And NES? NES? A or B. I'd say B. Because for what it did, like, yeah, remember the Power like, Glove? The history of what it is. No, the Power Glove sucked. <laughs> the Power it Glove was, was it, awful. It, it was, I it, it was I'm like, being sarcastic when I say it. was fun. The, what the Power Glove was based off of was No, impressive, I'm saying it's, it I, I know zapper. it's bad. I'm just being sarcastic with it. The, the, and then the Zapper, right. Duck Hunt, guys. PlayStation 1. A. A? I, I love that console. A, though. I played Crash Bandicoot on that a lot. Okay, is this PS2? That's or? the PS2. That's S. Okay. S tier. Th- yeah, I would S-tier. agree because for like that was like the first like best console. Bit. PlayStation because, three is C. At best, P- PS3 is C. You think? Yeah, I would agree. PS4 A A or B, and then I, I'm gonna put Xbox One on the same. Li- uh, that's thing fair. With that's agreeable. PS4. Pretty on par with one another. Yeah, the, the Saturn the Saturn e, B. E. <laughs> no. It deserves better than that. Not D. No, I'm serious. B. That is a good console. The Saturn? It's just not much better than the Genesis. Have so you I'll, a I'll accept C. Yes, I've played a Saturn. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Something happened. Technical difficulties. Everything everybody. broke. Did your. No, my, it's still. Connected. It's still. It's, yeah, it's still on the computer. Uh, Hopefully it's still recording. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh, we're doing something. It's still recording, so recording's still good. If this isn't edited out, you're experiencing this, experiencing this with us. Huh? I hope you know. I can only think of SpongeBob. Yeah. You're good. You're good. You're good. And all you can hear is a ship creaking on upon the rocks. <laughs> also, why do you have a Genesis? Yes. There's. I a... have most Sega consoles. Do you have Sonic Two? I'm pretty sure somewhere my uh, dad has Sonic Two. Well, if you don't, there's. At Liberty Venice Shock, there's a copy of Sonic 2. I'm not going to lie. Like, my parents were more like the Sega stuff. Well, I, your, I, your dad seems like a Sega dude. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Connor? Against It reminds me of that TikTok. It's just like... Uh, Against the grain. What do you? What was it? Yeah, you. I, I like sprinkles. What do you mean I look like a guy I like sprinkles? All right. And we're back. No, not yet. Oh. Now okay, we're back. and we're back. Okay. Um, so we're SNES. putting the Saturn at C. I'm, that's Wait, fair you, enough. Did you stop the recording at all? No. Just SNES goes at A. A or, a or S. I would agree with that. A. I would put it at A. Wii, the Wii is S. S. For sure. Xbox took, 360? I mean, it took Nintendo's failures with the GameCube and, and the Xbox 360. Ooh. I'm honestly A or S, bro. It beat PlayStation 3. There's so many game. memories on this compared to, like, the Xbox One. Right. I don't think it's as good as PS2 in terms of playability and how fun it was as a console and how well it worked. That's where Xbox, like, uh, no, I know that. Like, I know that. But like Call the of PS2, Duty, like, dude. Call of Duty, like, I don't chat think you understand. Did you have started. a PS2? My sister did. I had a. Then your sister would understand. Yeah. Like, My sister went. She didn't get a PS3. She got an Xbox 360. There's a reason why they still made PS2 well, games like, until rather recently. Have you ever played Skyrim on a PlayStation 3? Uh. I have not. Why has Skyrim been around there? for so long? <laughs> so, are we putting Xbox 360? We'll put it behind PS2 on S. I'm fair with that. But we because PS2 was still going. the biggest competitor to the 360. Yeah, and that wasn't even the cur- the the mod like the current PlayStation at the time. Literally, uh, yeah. that is the biggest problem and of then the PlayStation Xbox. 3. 
The original one, it's important. It had Halo. Yeah. B or C. B. I'll put it at C. That's our that's our tier list for consoles. Uh, PlayStation Five, we're gonna put an S. We and didn't then... really need E and F, did we? No, we didn't. <laughs> I'm glad they were there. Um, we're putting the PS5 in S tier, and we're putting the Xbox Series X in A, just along with the Xbox One, because it's pretty much the the same. Honestly, maybe B because of how similar it is. Especially the Xbox Series X Slim is the same thing. Yeah. It's just instead of like the fan port, instead of it matching the color of the console, it's black. Sounds about right. So, yep, there we go. Um, we're out of. We're completely out of time for this week's episode did of the we, podcast. How much, how much did we go over? Uh, only like seven minutes, but oh, like, that's not oh, bad. Okay, not bad. But like, we're completely out of time for this week's episode of the podcast. Please make sure to leave a like if you haven't already. Make sure if you uh, to let us know down in the comments if, whether you like this kind of content and you want to see more of this. Um, why? What's the secret word? Atari. The secret word for this week is Atari. You heard the man. Please make sure to go down in the comments and type that in. Um, make sure to give us your opinions on. Our tier list, uh, rights and wrongs, goods and bads, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.